Hello everyone, welcome again and today in this video I'm going to show you demonstration of uh, another project that is name project name is uh, home loan application and to for the technology purpose according to the technology we are using uh, for the backend it's using a Spring Boot with a Spring Security Hibernate and GPM uh, to manage the complete backend process and a Spring Boot is we are using a Spring Boot to handle the controllers and Spring Security to manage the authentication, JWT tokens and Hibernate and GPA to connect with the database and fire the queries. For the front end, it's using ReactJS uh, to design the components and HTML, CSS, Bootstrap, those are the common things over there. As APIs, it's, uh, we are working on the REST APIs uh, with, uh, we can run those APIs over the Postman tool as well. Okay, so if I talk about the architecture over here, you can see we have this uh, application uh, dot runner file config folder is there that contains the JWT authentication and security configurations controllers that control the REST APIs that we are going to call uh, while we are working with uh, front end and DDOs, entities, exceptions, models, repositories, audio services, utilities. And here we have application or property file that contains the complete configuration of the application and uh, like uh, for the to manage the dependencies we are using form.xml that contain our dependencies and uh, if we can add the dependencies and add the different configuration for the application for the back end side so i'm going to run the application and then we'll move to the front end side so let's run the back end and uh, just follow this step in order to run the application like uh, if you are going to board this project from the code one the code one team will do the setup in this condition after that you need to follow uh, these steps in order to execute or run the application okay let's come to the our tools uh, over the tools we are using eclipse tools and uh, uh, to maintain the backend side or store the information, we are using MySQL database and this is the workbench and we are, we are storing the table. Okay, there are two types. If I talk about the roles in the application, user roles, two types of roles are there, admin and the customer. So in order to run the backend, just uh, this is your home loan .application Java file. Right click on it, go to run as, run it as a Java application to be start your boot on a specific port number. So it will take some time. Meanwhile, uh, let it be processed and let's move to the front end things. How the front end code uh, looking over there into the application. So here into the front end side, we have uh, we are using Visual Studio as a tool, and uh, we have component folder that contain all the components of the application. <coughs> the design component, CSS pages are there. Utilities are there, index.css and complete environment we are following over there. So we are using the configuration as well. So under the public folder, you will find all the details. And uh, when you hit the command from your browser, you need to, when you want to run it, just navigate to this folder as I am, let's let's say I'm going to give you directory here. So just I'm to, I'm to breaking the current. Um, running server and now you can see i'm on the location where this file is available this this, this folder is available after that you have to uh, insert a command in pm start when you do this command it will start the server and the application will launch over your browser then you have default browser of your application in my case i think this will work over the chrome or you can directly copy that you are in the url uh, it will run automatically it will run over the local host 3000 this is the url we have that we need to run once this server will start okay no i don't want to terminate okay it's terminated so i think i need to run the server again so it will take some time it's depend on your system processing and system configuration meanwhile let's back to the backend thing so you can see we have uh, Tomcat is started on the port number 9091. So um, we can access the backend from this port number and the URL will be localhost 9091. And here into our environment configuration, we are passing those base URL that we are the, on, on, on that the application is, the backend is running. Okay, we can change it, it's set by globally. And now if I go over the front end thing, uh, you can see the application is launched over there. So now let's execute and run how the output is looking and how it's working. So for the front end page, like the home page, uh, we have the welcome screen and good image, the background, and we have one feature here as a calculate EMI. So user can, can calculate the EMI. So we have created custom uh, calculator in uh, ReactJS. So let's say 
I'm going to add some rupees, let's say 1000 or 10,000. And here, let's say I want to do this for two years and interest rate of 8%. So when I calculate it, it will say you have to pay EMI of 552 rupees and 27 rupees uh, monthly EMI. So in, in this, you can calculate the EMI. So let's say, so it's automatically calculated and it will give you amount here. So after that, we have two options sign in and sign up. Here, the new user can sign up from this form. So let's say I was going to enter some dummy data, save the form, and it will automatically redirect to the login page after submitting that form. And if I go here and check my user table, you will see the new record over there that we have just entered from the database uh, from the front end. Now over the login page, we have common login page for all kind of users and we are using the backend checks to verify the user and uh, define the roles for the user. So for the admin user, we are going to enter the username and the password over there. So let's see, I just enter this, hit the sign in button. You can see I will navigate to the different URL. When you log in as an admin, I will see the different option like add user, so admin can add new, new user over there. Admin can view the list of the user, those are available into the database. And apart from that, uh, admin can edit the records. Let's say admin want to change the username for this user. So I just edit it to as a new over there. And you will see the data is, uh, like data is updated. Uh, similarly, when I hit the delete button, it will delete the record from the list. I can, as an admin, I can add a new loan. Let's say I want to add a loan, let's say, let's say new home loan. I'm going to enter something new home loan of new home loan of 24. Okay, so loan type, let's say, let's say home. Interest rate, let's say 9%, and choose to the save, and it will display me here. So, uh, what I can do as an admin, it, I can edit the record, I can delete the record to edit, just simply need to add it and let's say update the interest rate over there. Click on the save, <coughs> the interest rate is updated. I can similarly, I can delete any type of loan over there, and I can apply as an admin as well. But this is the main feature for the users they're going to use uh, to apply for this particular loan that we have just added. <clears throat> applied loan history here uh, the admin can see the uh, user's data the customer's data this customer is going to apply for the loan the display here with penalty of things like first name last name of the user address phone number email id loan amount tenure or rate of interest the status of the loan active or not active and action so what uh, currently uh, this is the loan that uh, is under review so when i go it's like so this is not activated now. So when I click the approved button, so admin have the right, right? Like when any user or customer going to apply for the loan, <clears throat> the admin will get here into this uh, applied loan history and it will display under review until the admin going, not going to approve it. So when admin will click on the approve button, it will come into the active state. And here, that's it. The, another thing is log out. And now let's log in as a new user and see what user can do. So I just refresh my user table and this is the user, new user over here. So I'm going to log in with this user that we have recently registered over to it. No, we have uh, deleted the record. So this is the existing user uh, from which I'm going to log in. You can create uh, just register as a new user and uh, log in with that user as well. So here again, I got the option to calculate EMI loan list. So let's say I'm going to apply for this loan. So what I need to do, I need to some detail automatically fetch my from the backend, like according to the session, what user is logged in over here. So first name, last name, address, and the phone number. So I just enter six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten is it phone number, email ID, and the loan amount that I need. Let's say I want to have one three lakhs and loan tenure. Let's say I'm going for, for the ten year. Click on the save. And it's showing me as an enter review once uh, the admin will check that and we will approve that and it will display as a active and approved. Uh, it will display me under the applied loan ST section and again hit the log out and that's it. So it's, 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 it's a really good project and we are using multiple technologies over there 
and if you want to learn the things how the things are developing we how we are developing these things you can take the explanation for the services so we have different services like yeah you can take the source code and we'll help you to set up the code with your machine in case you want explanation and understanding how the code is working how the file is linked to each other how we are transmitting the data from one layer to another layer you can learn that as well you can take those classes as well so thank you so much for watching if you need uh, please connect us over the whatsapp email or skype thank you